Hi Libra, if you are in a long distance relationship or in a connection and separation, then these messages are for you. But before I begin, let me introduce myself. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Alexa Tarot and I am a second degree Reiki practitioner as well as an intuitive tarot and oracle reader. I want to start off by saying thank you to each and every one of my subscribers, my new viewers and visitors alike for sharing my channel, for coming back daily. I'm always channeling new messages for you, so always come back and see what I may have in store. You could also take a look at my page up where it says video section. In the video section, I have tons and tons of timeless messages, readings, topics, and themes all for you. So today I'm going to be channeling messages focusing on what's going on in your connection and separation, but what's going on with your person. Okay. So that's what I'm going to be focusing on here. So I'm channeling messages on what is going on with your special person, with your partner, with your uh, significant other, what's going on with them right now in this connection and separation. So let's take a look here. Okay, so something flipped over here. So they have here the Six of Swords flipped over. It says, I know that peaceful times will come. They seem to be in this energy of releasing. Okay, Six of Swords is releasing any mental baggages, any mental uh, things that may be wear wearing them down. Okay, so it's, it's a process of releasing, okay, is what I'm picking up here. They may be releasing over uh i would say overthinking energy as well okay some of them are just in a what i feel here is the spirit of just analysis they're an analyzing certain things and in a way it's like letting go of things that no longer serve them okay so let's take a look here and it's interesting libra because as i meditated i always meditate before i do readings for each sign and so i was called to take out this deck for you guys this is not the deck that i've been using for the other signs but for whatever reason here um i was asked to um to use it for you guys so let's see what messages what's going on with your special person in this long distance okay gathering together interesting so yeah it, it makes complete and total sense so they're releasing here with the six of swords releasing anything that no longer serves them in the mind okay they may be expressing certain things releasing also in a communicative way about what's bothering them or what's weighing them down and the reason why they're doing that is because they're trying to get themselves back together again okay they have the gathering together and this energy is all about assembling it's all about bringing back together it's about combining forces or joining forces okay so what i'm feeling here is like they're letting go of what no longer serves them because they want to come back or they want to be in this energy of getting things back in order okay it's like uh like i was saying earlier like a sense of analyzing or analysis they're they've been analyzing that perhaps maybe some things need to be either streamlined in their life whether it's their career whether it's their love life or something personal and they've decided or at least they're in this energy of letting those things go so they can come back like full force is what i'm feeling here let's take a look here at what other uh things are going on here with your special person in this long distance connection or connection and separation yeah so they have passion and they have effort okay so definitely they're really focused on uh, it's like bringing themselves back or bringing the relationship back to full force is what I'm feeling. They are in this energetic feeling of passion here. So that I do feel that that's where they are in this connection with you. And they really want to show the efforts. Okay. They want to show what, uh, you know, they're feeling or how they think or what they're thinking, how they're feeling. Okay. Or they want to show that this connection is something that they are truly invested in. Okay. Um, I feel here with efforts is also about growth and about nurturing. So it's not just the effort of putting in the work or putting in the time, but it's also nurturing it. Okay. Because you do see here that this, um, water, uh, pitcher is, is giving hearts, right? It's hearts are coming out of it. So it's love. It's like an outpouring of emotion through whatever love language they feel, um, more connected to okay 
Uh, let's take a look here at what other messages. What's going on with your person, your significant other here in this long distance connection? Oh, wow. Passion and soulmate. Wow, guys. Uh, they are truly invested here in this connection. It's all about the passion. It's all about the uh, magnetic attraction. Okay. But most importantly here, I feel here that at the core of what's going on with them is either they're realizing or they are just embracing more. Okay. The energy of the fact that there is an inner knowing there's a remembrance here between them and you. They do feel here that they may have found their soulmate okay and not only that but it says yes this is your soulmate so it's like not only do they feel it but there's a certain sense of certainty inside okay now they have passion twice so don't be surprised if your significant other is more passionate in what they're saying or what they're doing or what of whatever other love language they feel connected to I do feel here that there is, a, of course, a true sense here of passion and of inspiration, okay? A lot of fire here. If you guys do see each other or will be seeing each other, okay, that's also here in their mind because here the Six of Swords is also about travel, okay? And that does carry here travel energy. So I wouldn't be surprised here if what they're thinking is about traveling to you, okay, about seeing you, about wanting to get together. Um, of course, here with this gathering together, getting together to uh, to exchange uh, energies and and being in front of each other and you guys could fill in the rest okay but i do feel here there is a, a sense of passion and of unity here and again this may be them thinking about uh traveling to see you or you traveling to see them all right let's take a look here what else is going on here with your significant other So what's going on here with Libra's significant other in this long distance connection or connection and separation? All right, so let me fix these. Sorry, guys, just so that you can see them clearly here. All right, and we have all that glitters, okay? Not for you and chaos and conflict. Now, don't be afraid of, of, of that because I know it sounds like heavy energy. Um, but what I'm actually picking up here, here is that your significant other, okay, has uh, all that glitters. What's going on with them? Remember that I um, started uh, this reading telling you that the Six of Swords is releasing, right? It's releasing this energy or releasing baggages or things that were weighing them down before, okay? Or that may be currently weighing them down. For some of you, your significant other is letting go of whatever, um, how can I say, whatever mask they were showing maybe they were a little bit quiet maybe they weren't showing um in ways that perhaps you know you would have liked how much love and how much passion they feel in this connection maybe they're the type of person who who you know maybe they're quiet okay but I feel here is that they're letting go. They're allowing themselves to be vulnerable. So whether that is through communication or whether it is through other means, they're now letting go of that blockage, that barrier that they may have been feeling or showing or thinking about here uh, in this long distance connection. I feel here all that glitters. Again, it's going beyond the superficial. Okay, it's going deeper. And they may be uh, at that point, you know, right now, or they may be here in this energy of showing of showing you that here, especially if, you know, if in, for some of them, if they do travel um, to see you or if you travel to see them or if you guys travel together on vacation, there's definitely going to be a lot of passion. And it's it kind of like it's opening up that vulnerable state, okay, that vulnerable emotional state for them. All right, so here, not for you, I feel here that they are no longer in this, um, it's like they don't want to continue this, again, this, 
what I'm feeling here is like they're on their end, you're on your end, and there is in this middle this blockage, this obstacle, right? Which is long distance, right? Not physically being together. I feel that they are releasing. They're releasing those things that no longer serve them. Maybe they had ideas. Maybe they, you know, had ideas of, you know, um, not, you know, not feeling comfortable about the long distance connection, um, feeling that, you um, it was something very difficult, right? Because, of course, long distance connections and connections and separation uh, do have their own sets of unique obstacles and challenges, right? And so I feel here not for you is that they're releasing these preconceived notions, right? Or these low vibrational energies that they felt or thought that the distance is the uh, thing that is the blockage in the middle. And it was like divine uh, intervention or it was like the luck of the draw, right? Like, you know, I don't know when we're going to see each other. We're, at, you know, we're, we're apart. We can't physically uh, see each other as we would like and spend time each other with each other as we like. But I feel here, um, definitely there's this sense of releasing that because they're all about you. Okay, Libra, they do feel you're their soulmate. Okay, so they have effort, passion, passion, soulmate, and gathering together. The other things that are here, and it's interesting because there's an even spread here. Okay, so they have one, two, three, four, five high vibrational energy cards, all talking about coming together, being one, being each other's soulmate. Okay, them um, kind of thinking about how they're going to show you that they're emotionally and uh energetically invested in this connection and then we have the six of swords one two three four four other cards all talking about a little bit more lower vibrational energy is what i'm picking up so all that glitters they're letting go of their mask their fears they're allowing their vulnerability to come uh to come forward okay here with the not for you it's all about them feeling that there is this obstacle in the way between them and you okay and now they're again six of swords releasing that mental energy here with conflict conflict and chaos again i feel here this is all about again releasing okay they're in this energy of letting go of things that no longer serve them and really focusing on what they have here i feel here with this connection especially what's going on with your person is that they've come to a sense of realization here um, I think that before what I'm picking up is that they didn't think that this was going to be something so um, emotionally deep. OK, they probably had this feeling like, ah, you know, it's long distance. Well, you know, we'll, you know, we'll see how that works. And all of a sudden or through time, OK, for some of you, it's all of a sudden. But for some of them, it's like over time, they've really invested themselves okay and their emotions here in this connection and so now it's more about releasing those perhaps preconceived notions that they may have had about uh something either being superficial or temporary and now replacing it with okay this is something more than what i expected this can actually uh be my soulmate okay and that's the energy that they are um, embodying right now at this moment in time let's take a look at this last card here from this last deck and see what else is going on with your special person okay so that one flipped and this one okay flipped as well okay so this one slid out and this one flipped let's go with the one that flipped first like I just said two seconds ago, this is just a confirmation. It says, move forward, experience the grace of who you truly are. They're really, like I said, and here you see this person here and you see this like really um, bright light. It's like they've had an awakening. I just said this two seconds ago. It's like they've realized that you are indeed their soulmate, their other half, their twin flame. They may not share that with you as much as... Uh, they would like for some of them i feel that there is a kind of a quiet sense here of kind of keeping things to themselves but for others of them they've really uh, come to this point of just letting you know listen this is you know this is where i'm at you know with this connection i truly feel you are my other half um and they're wow wow guys take a look at this confirmation again union of love they are truly truly 
emotionally invested and emotionally, mentally, and energetically invested in this connection. Okay, so that's what's going on with your person. So for some of you, um, I'm hearing falling in love. Okay, so for some of you, now you know that your person has truly fallen in love with you. For others of you, this is a confirmation of what you already knew. Okay, so you already know that this person, you've seen the transformation, you've seen how uh, your connection has grown, even though you may be physically apart you are energetically together and here your special person it says union of, union of love embrace the beloved within your heart okay so some of you i feel here that the embrace will be physical okay um especially here with the six of swords six of swords is also about travel so the, the you know there may be some type of physical reunion here especially with this passion passion coming out twice okay and um so i am feeling that for uh for for them that they are really kind of thinking about um traveling or seeing you in person or or at least definitely planning something towards that others of them there are like i said there's a sense of vulnerability they're allowing themselves to really feel this connection to really be present energetically with this connection because like i said before here with the six of swords they're releasing what was troubling them in their mind the i miss you that i can't be with you they're releasing that and they're embracing a higher vibrational energy libra i hope that this was an insightful message for you and click here on the lexa tarot logo to be part of the lexa tarot family and i also have some free new uh, messages here for you as well Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.